Hi, and welcome back to my channel, Riri J. I am the owner of A to Z Signing here in Charlotte, North Carolina. And today we're gonna to talk about how to present yourself professionally to your client and also what to bring on your loan signing appointment. <laughs> Hello and welcome back. So before I start with this video, I do wanna address something that came came up quite a bit in my last video, and that was the question of, what do I do to become a signing agent after I become a notary? All you have to do is go to the National Notary Association.org and pick one of three packages. Because I purchased the training from Mark Wills, I went ahead and purchased the $70 packet, which just has the background and the exam. Once you select the $70 package, you will get the background email, and you will also um, be prompted to take your exam online, and you, you get multiple chances to you know, pass it if you don't pass the first time. And then you also get a priority listing on the NNA site as well. So let's begin. So as a new loan signing agent, it's just very, very important to stand out as much as you can above your peers. One thing that I realized that worked very, very well for me is how I presented myself, the professionalism that I showed, and how I dressed and carried myself when I was with my clients. That really did help a lot and I got a lot of compliments because of that. So when I arrive to a client's home or an attorney's office, whoever I'm meeting with, whether it's the gatekeeper or the actual attorney, I shake their hand. Well, because of what's going on in today's world, we're not shaking hands right now. <laughs> However, I do acknowledge them with good eye contact and I give them my business card. Um, and then, then I introduce myself. My name is Maria Johnson and I'm here to assist with your closings. Dress professional provide your business card. If you do provide your business card, it's not required, but if you want to, it just helps and it puts you a little bit further above the other agents who are not providing business cards. You also want to be confident and have a good attitude, speak clearly, and of course, like I said before, have good eye contact. I realize that when I have a great attitude and I'm very upbeat, that works beautifully for me. It helps things go by smoothly. And if we do have dead air or dare, you know, like um, if there, there is quiet moments, it's not really awkward because I've already helped break the ice. Yes, we all gonna have butterflies when you first go into your first loan signings. Um, you're gonna feel nervous. You're gonna feel these things, but they don't have to know. So inside your stomach can be doing jumping jacks. However, you on the outside, you need to be showing like you've been doing these things since the 1980s, okay? <laughs> All right, so I wanna just give you guys really quick what I say. This is my same spiel that I say for all the people who I meet in their home. I say this, my name is Maria Johnson. I'm an independent contractor on behalf of ABC Mortgage, and I'm here to close on your loan documents today. And that's it. They're like, okay, well, nice to meet you, Maria. Do you want anything to drink? And I'm like, no, I'm okay. You know, so, all right. So that's what I do and it works very beautifully. So, so let's get into what is in my bag and what I bring to all of my loan signings. So first we're gonna start off with the bag itself. Now everybody had their own preference in bags. Um, that's your preference. I prefer something a little girly, a little cute. So this is the first thing, my bag. This is my bag. I actually got this bag from Amazon. And I love this bag. It has the quilted. It's giving me Chanel vibes. <laughs> it's giving me Chanel vibes, but also it's really long. It's 17 inches in um, width. And yes, it's 17 inches wide. And so that's why I like it. It's long enough for my legal papers. And I think legal documents are about, what is it, 8 by 5, 8.5 by 14 for a legal size paper. And then, of course, standard is 8 by 5, I mean, 8.5 by 11. I think so. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. So, again, standard. Hold on. So comment down below if you think it's another size. I've seen also tabloid legal size, which is I think a lot longer um, than the regular legal. So this is my bag. Again, it's 17 
inches wide, which carries all of my legal documents safely. And when I say safely, that means that my legal documents don't have to be folded. I don't like creased documents at all, guys. Also, they don't risk the chance of being ripped or, you know, wrinkled up because I'm trying to pull them out of my bag. So this is my bag. So on the outside of my bag, I carry um, some hand sanitizer. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and open my bag. This is how the inside of the bag looks. So you have a zipper compartment. I also have um, just the main compartment right here. I have a zippered compartment. I have also a space to put my um, laptop in or tablet in. And then I have another space here on the back end along with, can y'all see that? Hold on along with two nice size pockets to put extra things in. So as you can see, this bag is packed with space and room and oh my gosh, I love it. Also, I like it because when I sit it down, it actually sits flat. You don't have to worry about it falling over or you know none of that stuff. So I love it. Then I love this part because when I have a heavy bag or a full bag, I can just put this on my shoulders and go. Guys, I love this bag. All right, so let's get into what I have in my bag. Now, on a full day, I would have loan documents in here, but for now, I'm just gonna show you what the base is. The first thing I'm gonna start with is the little pouch I have. So, of course, I have my stamp. Guys, I don't carry my ink with me. I've seen some people that carry their ink with them and they keep it in a plastic bag. That just looks so scary because what if that bag rips or something happens and you get ink on your paper or ink in your bag? I mean, that's just will be tragic. So what I do is I make it a habit to fill or to just at least touch up my ink pad at least every two weeks just to make sure that the ink is not drying out or I have a good amount in there. So I keep my I keep my stamp um, nice. The next thing that I have in my pouch is my National Notary Association member card. So this member card came in the mail whenever I, um, whenever I got my membership with the NNA or the National Notary Association. And I keep this in my card because if somebody wanna identify me, they have this. They have my driver's license and they have my business card. The next thing I have in this pouch is these very, very cute um, translucent sticky notepads. You just pull them off and you can put them on your loan documents. If I have to leave a note for the lender or anything, I can put it on these. I like it because you can see through it, guys. All right, so the next thing I have in the larger compartment in my bag is I always keep these guys on hand on deck. Um, I keep FedEx, I also keep UPS. These are legal size um, document holders. And um, you know, I just keep them in my bag because I normally put my loan documents in these and um, I give, let me show you guys what I do. So I give these, I have my uh, customers copies in these and these are, what I keep in my bag as well. These right here are legal size um, pocket folders. So these are amazing. They hold the documents very nicely and they're they're pretty deep. Um, I think for price, you can definitely shop around for price. I went to Staples and I purchased um, 50 of these for about $17. So that's not bad at all. The zipper compartment, I don't really keep things in there, but I did have some paper clips in here. Paper clips are really good because sometimes your signers will have to give a give you a check to mail back to the lender. You want to make sure you're able to paper clip your checks to the documents. I do not, I repeat, I do not carry a stapler and I do not staple documents. Stapling documents is a no-no for me, okay? The next thing that I have in my bag are these nifty little thumb um, rubber tips. These are life savers guys if you've ever been in the middle of a signing and tried to flip through the paper and your finger just would not grip the paper oh my gosh like i start sweating and i start getting nervous i keep these guys on hand so that oops so that i can actually um be able to grip the paper and flip through the paper with ease i also keep in my computer i mean in my bag is my apple tablet um, I keep this because you just never know. I keep it to reference 
um, my code of ethics because I have it all downloaded on my tablet. And that's also reduced how much paper I carry around. It's good to have your tablet with you. I keep this everywhere, okay? In between signings, pull this out. If I'm at Starbucks ha having a break, I want to pull this out. It's just better than my cell phone. I keep it. All right, so other than my tablet, I do keep an active copy of my rescission calendar. Um, from And I printed this off from the National Notary Association. So as you can see right here, I have a copy of January 2021's rescission calendar. This, guys, can get you out of a pinch if you are um, doing the right to cancel and, you know, they're going over the rescission period for the, um, with the clients, with the borrowers and they have a question about exactly which date, instead of guessing, you look at this guy and it's gonna tell you exactly what day it's gonna be. So I keep this in my bag as well. All right, the next thing I keep in here is my official notary journal. This journal is really nice. I got this from Amazon and I think it was about $12. It was not expensive at all. Um, let me see if I can find a free page. Let's go to the back here. So here's how it looks inside. All I do is I put the document, the name of the document. So like, let's say if it's a deed, I put the deed here. I put the date that I'm actually notarizing it. I check the driver's license because most of the time it's a driver's license that they're showing me or whatever the identification is. Then I print their name here really quickly and then I put what type. So norm normally it's an acknowledgement. So I put acknowledgement. And then at the end of that, they put their thumbprint right here and they sign. So very simple and straight to the point. So it's so important that you note in your journal what you notarize and what day, because if this ever came back on you in court, you will have this information documented and save yourself a whole lot of headache. The next thing that I have and I carry with me everywhere is my North Carolina public, um, notary public manual. This right here has everything you need to know about the basics of being a notary. If I get hung up on something or I'm not sure, I can just flip to it by going to the actual um, table of contents and finding it. There's also a digital copy um, online as well. So you can also have that on your tablet or something like that. The next thing that I have is some, I have two masks in a Ziploc bag. Um, this is because I ran into a couple of people who came, I went to their house and they didn't have a mask. But I always wear a mask when I go to my signing. So, you know, I'm not really too worried, but I'm like, well, I have a couple extra. Do you want to put one, put one on? If they say yes, I'll go ahead and open the bag, let them pull one out and let's commence to signing, shall we? <laughs> All right, so the next thing I keep is a pack of, I just brought this pack today because I ran out of my other pack, but I keep these right here because on some documents, um, some people like to sign where they shouldn't sign or date where they shouldn't date. So this right here not only reminds me to remind them not to sign, but it reminds them to not sign or date in that area. Like literally I write, do not sign on these tabs and I put it over the signature line and people will literally take and try to pull the sticker off to sign. No, sir or ma'am, I need you to not sign there. These come in handy to make sure that not only you are reminded, but the signer is reminded where and not to sign. All right, the next thing I keep on me, so this right here is your inkless thumbprint. This right here I got from um, Amazon and it's just, they put their thumb on it. And I like it because it really don't have a lot of heavy ink on it. You can literally wipe it off afterwards. So I like that. And I keep this right here so they can put their thumbprint on my notary journal. Then I also keep an extra thing of hand sanitizer. I actually got this from a DoorDash person. <laughs> he gave me this hand sanitizer gel. So instead of going and buying it, I just throw it in my, my notary bag. It's good for when I need it. So, you know, with sanitizing your hands all the time, your hands definitely can get dry. So I keep, and it's nothing like going to a signing with ashy hands. Trust me. My other um, pocket, I keep my tablet pen, and I keep um, 
I need to get some more blue pens, but I keep my blue and my black pens as well. I also keep my business cards. Um, I ran out of business cards, so I have just placed an order for it some more. Um, I only order 100 business cards at a time. I do not order 500. And here is my business cards right here. This is how my business card look from the front and from the back. And I love how it looks, but um, I only order 100 cards at a time. And it's about $23 on vistaprint.com to do that. The next thing I keep in my bag is just some a little pack of wipes. This is just about to wipe off um, the table because sometimes the table might be dirty. That is everything I have in my notary bag and what I bring to my signing. I also want to touch a little bit on mindset. In this business and in any business, it is so important to have a good mindset and a good outlook. Here are some um, affirmations that I have. I currently change them every other week, but here's what they are. There's only three guys. So the first one is, I have a wonderful business in a wonderful way and I provide wonderful service for a wonderful pay. I absolutely love that. I love that saying because this is just telling me that I have a wonderful business. Being a loan signing agent is just like any other business. You have to work to get yourself where you need to be. However, it's a business and I'm thankful for it. The next mantra that I use is be undisturbed by it and it will fall away by its own weight. Anything negative comes with weight. And if you accept that negativity, then now you're carrying that weight. But when you just be undisturbed by it, you just move on and you don't allow it to get to you, it literally falls away. It literally falls away. The last thing I have is very simple, very short and sweet and to the point. It is none of these things move me. I found myself saying that a lot. None of these things move me. None of these things move me. All right, guys, that is it for this video. I hope that I was able to help someone and inspire someone today. And um, I just want to thank you guys for subscribing to my channel and liking my videos and actually responding and commenting. I love that. That gives me so much hope. Um, it also just makes me feel so good that I'm helping other people. So keep it coming. And um, if you have any questions, definitely put them down in the comments below or you can send me an email. Until then, guys, thank you so much for watching and be great.